Hi, I'm Curtis Henderson. Actually, my talk again is about, let's say, let's say you, you was a kid and for some odd reason, you was adopted or you was placed into a foster home and now you pretty much just lost. You know, like I said, in this particular situation here now, you got, you got so many people who actually, the real blood parents, just gave them away. I mean, you don't know what the reason was. They could have been that particular parent. Might have been underage. Or they might have been drug users. Uh, you don't really know what exactly type of problem that that particular parent was involved with. So now all of a sudden, the child has been, has been put up for adoption. You really want to know who your real blood is. You want to know who and where did you come from? Where did you come from? Of course now, any kid would want to know where they come from. I'm just going to be honest with you. Say like in this situation here with this selfish adopted mother, say Patricia Robinson now. She have taken all these kids and have destroyed their lives. None of them don't know who their real blood is. Let's say now they don't know who their real father is. They don't know who their real blood mother is. They just lost into the world. Now what kid that grows up who don't want to know where they really belong? What kid who turns 18 or 19 or whatever, now they finally gets out of this, this foster home or this adoption home who wouldn't want to know who the real blood is? Where did it come from? You know? Who is my real blood mother? Who is my real blood father? Who are my people over here? Where do my people come from? I mean, I mean, you if you get stuck in this system of things and your whole life is spinning right before your eye, and now you become an adult and you don't know who you are. Or where you come from. I mean, you just lost into the world. It's like you've been going along with the program for all these years while you was a little kid and a little baby. And these people just threw you into this situation of being adopted or in a foster home because of the situation. Now you're lost when you grow up. Now you grows up with a purpose now. I want, I, I want to know who my real father is, my real blood father is. I want to know who my real blood mother is. You know, a lot of times when you are adopted, it's just one of those things, you know. They do not want you to know where you come from, who your real blood mother is, or who your real blood father is. So now when you turn 18, you have got to, Start digging and searching for yourself. Now, I'm going to tell you some things that you can do. Say you're all grown up now. You have turned 18. A lot of people just go on and on and on through life. They can be 18, 24, 35, 40 years old, just going through life and really don't know where they belong, who my real father is, who was my real mother, I mean, who? I mean, they just lost into the world, man. They was just threw into this system of things, just threw into a foster home, threw into an adoption, and just lost into the world. And my heart just goes out to these people. And that's why I fight so hard, you know, like my daughter, Alexa Charlie Henderson, she have a loving father who cares about her, 
and who loves her and wants to be in his kid's life. Then you got people like Patricia Robinson who abuses the system with this adoption, foster care thing. She abuses the system and just totally do not want the kids to know who their father are or the real mother are. In this situation, my baby's mother is in this, is living in this adoption home, so they really don't give a damn about my feelings or about Alexa's feelings about her having her real blood father. So you see what I'm saying? So it's people like this who destroys the system and just totally just confuses kids, you know, while they're kids. And these are the kids who grows up being traumatized. When you got adopted mothers, say, let's say they're psychopaths. And they don't give a damn if they hurt you. They don't give a damn if they destroy your life. They don't give a damn. All they're thinking about is that I'm going to keep them on this medication. I'm going to keep them on all these drugs. And I'm going to get all the money that I can get out of them and say that they got a mental ill problem and just destroy your life and try to wipe you out. And God clearly speaks of that in the Bible. The devil is out to rob, destroy, steal, and kill. Now you think about it. Here you are, a little innocent kid. You was taken away from your father by force and placed into a, uh, an adoption home. In my situation, my baby's mother, she lives in this home with this adopted mother, so she don't really give a damn. You know why? Because this is a pattern of things, of something that has happened to her when she was a kid. You see what I'm saying? My baby's mother was thrown into a adoption home. Okay, her mother, from my understanding, she was five years old and her blood mother took her to Hawaii and just left her in a Hawaii. I mean, didn't give a damn about this girl. But anyway, Patricia Robinson, she heard about it. So some kind of way she was able to adopt Veronica Robinson. But don't you know this woman, this 32-year-old grown-ass woman right now as of today, she do not know who a real father is. Same thing with Marcus Robinson. He don't know who his real blood father is. Neither do he know who his real blood mother is. So you mean to tell me you just go along with the system and be misused and abused I mean, here you are, you 35 years old, let's say. You're 35, 37 years old, and all of this has been taken away from you, and you never, it never crossed your mind. Who am I? Who is my real true blood? I mean, who is my real true father and my real true blood mother? I know they must be some good people. But even though they put you up for adoption, it had to be something pretty low down for them to just give the kids up and throw them in a adoption home or a foster home. But I'm going to tell you some of the things that you can do once you, once you grow up and... You want, you still want to know where you belong. You want to know, you know, what's really going on. You want to know where you come from. Now, I'm going to tell you some things that you could do now that you are older and, and uh, you still don't know, you don't have any idea, you don't know where to start. My thing is, is that if you haven't already gotten a birth certificate, let's say, for instance, what you can do. Let's say you got your birth records. If you don't have it 
and you got your original birth records. If you don't, well, search for your original birth record or your original birth certificate. And uh, you also got to just take that extra step and search the adoption records. I mean, that, that should be easy to do. I mean, try calling the adoption agency. You know, I mean, say for instance now, you you over the age of 18 and 19 and you lost, and you want to find out who are your real true blood mother and father are. You do have rights, even though you was adopted, you do have rights to find your original parents. And I'm going to tell you how you can do it. You know, don't think that that because you was adopted that you cannot find your original blood parents. Now, I actually know somebody in this situation and during that particular time, I think uh, they said this girl was like about 15 years old. She had a baby. And so her mother, her original mother, did not want this 15 year old to have his baby so she put up her grandbaby up for adoption now she have a son let see this woman is now 50 years old and do not have do not have no idea where her son is uh, who he was adopted by she don't have a clue but her son was adopted so he's lost into the world. Now, he don't know who his real blood parents are. And now, I say this. Now, at that point, once a kid grows up and you find out and know that you was adopted, so now you start questioning around and you ask the people who adopted you, you know, could you give me some information here? I'm a grown man now. I'm a grown woman. I want to know. You know where I come from, who my roots and who my genes are. I mean, can you tell me something about, do you know, do you have an idea of where I come from or who my parents are? If that's the case, and if they do not want to give you any leads at all at that point because they want to keep it anonymous and they just don't want you to know, but then you have the right to obtain your birth and adoption records in most states. In mostly every state there is, you do have that right to obtain your birth records. So what you want to do is, most of the time, um, adoption records in most states, adoption records are sealed after an adoption was finalized. So now that tells me that the adopted person, birth parents and adopted parents must follow certain guidelines and procedures established by that state to obtain identifying confidential information. So I hope you're understanding what I'm saying. So they, 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 they have to follow certain guidelines or procedures for identifying confidential information from the uh, adoption records. But they may be able to obtain non-identifying information from the agency that arranged the adoption. So are you getting what I'm saying here? Okay, even though it seems like it's complicated, if you was adopted, I mean, most states, you know, they establish, they establish certain procedures established by the state so that you can obtain identifying confidential information from the adoption records. So now, with that being said, 
you're going to have to make an effort to contact the adoption agencies. So now I'm going to tell you what you can do. At that point, what you can do, like I said, everybody wants to know where they come from and who they are. And if you just give up and throw in the tower and you don't try to look for, for your real blood mother or your real blood father, but then you just pretty much just, just have given up. So I know enough about this stuff to say, you know, just don't give up. It's a whole lot of hurting people out there who was thrown into a foster care or adoption home. They just don't know who their real blood father is or their blood parents are. And they just lost into the world. And this stuff is just really, really mind boggling. And if you don't take the effort to want to know who your parents are, or you just stuck out in this world, just like everybody else, just lost. I mean, you just lost. I mean, how could you like just walk around every single day just lost and not wanting to know who your real parents are. If anybody out there who's involved into this type of situation, you was adopted, you was in foster care, please share your stories. Share your thoughts, share your feelings about this, you know. Now is the time to talk about this stuff. I understand that a lot of that stuff was was sealed, was sealed off when you was a kid. But let's say now you are 18 years old, you're 19 years old, and you know for a fact that you was placed into a foster home or you was placed into an adoption home and you just feel like you are lost. Most of the time, good, genuine people who have adopted you they would want you to know who your real parents are. They would tell you, hey, look, your, your real father is so-and-so. Your real mother is so-and-so. They wouldn't want to keep that away from you. I'm talking about real, genuine people. But now, very selfish people who just only think about themselves, but then these are the people who just don't care. You know, they don't care. But they don't think about when you grow up, now you're a grown man or you're a grown woman and you don't know who you, who you who you really truly are. You don't know who your real blood are. You just lost in this world, you know? Just lost and not knowing who you are. And I tell you, that can really be painful when you are just lost into this world and don't know who you are. So I hope this helps someone out there. Please feel free to leave the comments. Hopefully this will be the stepping stone for a whole lot of people who who, who is involved into this situation and they just don't know, they just don't know where to start. Well let this be a stepping ground. You know, start leaving your comments and and uh, let's start networking about this stuff and hopefully. Everybody can find their real blood parents. Let's let this be a start. Let's start this thing off. Anybody could find their real true blood parents. Let's let this be a, a genuine conversation to help folks who was adopted and who was placed into foster care. They just don't know where they really belong. Like I said, if, if, if you search the vital records in that state with the adoption agency, it's only certain documents can be sealed off and signed off. But once you turn 18, it is particular information that can be given to you once you turn 18. So now you do have that right to, you do have that right to request that particular information. And in that information 
should be given to you that say, you know, uh, addresses to who the people were that who have put you up for adoption. It should give you something and give you a, a start so you can get started to finding your real true blood parents. Once you have your full real birth certificate, but then you are on a good start because now you can look at your birth certificate. Okay, now my real father is so and so, my real mother is so and so. So now you got to start. So now hopefully they will have some telephone numbers. They, the adoption agency will work with you some kind of way. And now you can like get this ball rolling so you can find out who your real blood people are. I mean, I'm telling you, this, this is not nice at all. You know, to grow up in this world, you have been in an adoption home all your life. And you don't even know who your blood parents are. You don't even know where to start. You've been living this adopted life all your life. You've been living this foster care thing all your life. Everybody done died out in this adoption home, in this foster care home, and you don't even know where you belong. Who is your blood mother? Who is your blood father? Do I have any other sisters, real sisters? Do I have any real brothers? You know what I'm saying? To all the people out there who've been adopted, Make it a point to find out where you belong, where you belong. It's nothing like knowing where you belong. If, if there's nothing else that you won't do in this world but find out where you belong and who are your real people, you know that's a good feeling? You know that's like a dream come true? When you can actually find out who your real true blood people are. You know, you want to know. So anyway, I, I appreciate you for watching my show. And if anything I can do to help anybody out there, please leave, leave a comment. You know, tell me your story. I want to hear about your story. And whatever I can do to try to boost up your success story to help you find your real blood parents, please leave a comment. We're in this together. I will help anyone that I can if I see where I can provide certain information that could help you to be successful in finding out who you are. But then I, I'll do that. I'll do what I can to help help you, to help put you on the right track. Okay? So, so anyway... You all take care. I appreciate you all watching, watching my show. And hopefully this will be a blessing to a whole lot of people out there. And uh, don't give up. Stay positive. Put God first. And focus on your dreams. Focus on who you are. Don't let no one tell you you can't do this. It's a lot of people out there is going to tell you that it's not going to happen. It's not possible. Anything is possible if you just believe in the Almighty God and you stay positive. All you got to do is make that little baby step. Just If you can just crawl, but then guess what? All of a sudden, you're going to start walking. Then after, after a while, you're going to start running. Then all of a sudden, the whole ball game is in your favor. So hopefully this could help somebody. And I know there's a lot of people out there in this situation and you want you want to find out where you belong thanks for watching and I just want to say I feel so good about this particular show this video so you take care and never give up never give up so you take care so my slogan peace love and happiness yeah I'll take care Okay, bye.